Hey, and welcome to another twin review session. So a lot of people have always mentioned, oh, it tastes better in a bottle, or there's, there's this weird taste when you pour it from a can. Well, to be fair, I'm getting a beer that I've never tasted before. One in a can, one in a bottle, and we're going to compare it. This is the OB Premier Pilsner, right? It's a rich taste with German noble hop. Now, it's actually a South Korean beer. Okay, OB stands for Oriental Brewery. And yeah, I got this um, at one of those Korean marts uh, in the neighborhood. This can is actually pretty heavy. It's 355 ml, so it's actually pretty, uh, pretty worth it. And it's only $2.50 per can. The bottle, it, uh, it's 330 ml, but it's $2.95 per bottle. So slightly more beer and a cheaper price. So both beers come with 4.6% alcohol, right? It doesn't matter whether it's in a can or a bottle, it's just that this is cheaper because there's more and it's a cheaper price. Okay, more importantly, will beer in a can taste different from the same beer in a bottle? Let's find out. It's nice and frothy, right, when you pour it from a can. Yeah, it seems to froth up more from the can. Um, but you know what, I'm just going to make sure it's about the same amount. So, color-wise, whether it's from a can or from a bottle, no difference. More important is the taste, right? Why do people say it tastes different? Well, depending on the packaging. Does this make it more worthwhile? Let's start with the can. Okay, so from the can to the bottle, honestly, there really isn't much of a difference. If I were to say the difference from a can is when you, you know, when you put the, the, the when you point in the glass and you put the glass to your nose while you're drinking it, it, it has a bit of a musty smell. Right, like a very uh, a dry, uh, you know, like a dry wardrobe smell. It's also there in the bottle, but a lot less pronounced. It just doesn't have that dry, musty smell. So probably that's the difference that you're tasting when it goes down um, into you. Uh, it's just that this, from a bottle, it probably tastes a little bit fresher compared to from a can. So that's the only difference that I can determine. Now, for the taste of this OB Premier Pilsner, okay? I've tasted very bitter Pilsners before, right? Feel free to click on the card to find out. This Pilsner isn't bitter at all. It leaves a very sweet aftertaste. Not even bitter, not a hint of bitterness at the back of my tongue, at the back of my throat. It's just sweetness all the way in. If you are somebody who likes a sweet beer but doesn't really like a wheat beer, right? Like, you know, whole gardens and stuff, those are pretty sweet, right? For a wheat beer. So this is a pilsner that is sweet and not a wheat beer. So I think it's easier on the palate for most people. It's not too gassy um, and it's not a bitter beer. It's a nice sweet beer uh, if, and it looks pretty classy as well. Okay, come samida. Anyang, 